Hi everyone, my name is Kate and welcome back to Walt Lost in My Library. So this is a look at my new uh, bookshelf setup, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not doing a bookshelf tour today. I am doing the Try, um, try Chapter Challenge, um, May Unhaul These Books. We'll see from the first chapter. Some of these books I have read a little bit of. It's been a while that I've read them. Um, others, I just, I don't know. I don't know really much about, and I want to see if I'm actually kind of interested in these books. Alright, so, we have one, two, three, four, six books. Okay. So, the first book I tried reading and I found it really boring, and I just could not push through it. And I'm going to try it again. It was going to be on my um, TBR for the bookie trials, but I think I'm going to do um, either the House of Hades or Mark of Athena for that challenge, uh, which is to have a dragon. And there's a mechanical dragon in those books. So I'm, instead of trying to push through this one. I think I'm just going to reread one of those books. It's fine. Um, so it's Aragon by Christopher Paolini and you can tell I've tried and I made it to, I actually made it quite far, 356. Found it really boring. Couldn't push through it. So we're going to try the first chapter again. See if I want to try. Otherwise, I think I'm going to unhaul that one because it's just not, it's not worth it. Um, the next book is a library book. See if it's going to be worth, like, actually reading or I just need to take it back. It's called Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. It's a murder mystery trilogy and this is the first book. Um, other than that, I don't know anything about it, so that's on the list. Um, that was m more than likely not going to be, but it is what it is. So I bought this at uh, Barnes & Noble because it was cheap. It's called The Trap, and it's by Melanie Rabe? Rabe? Rob Rabe? Rabe? Maybe? Um, I know nothing about this book either. So we're going to try. It's a murder mystery, maybe? Mystery novel? I don't know. We're going to try it. Um, and then maybe I will unhaul it. We'll see. Um, next book. I've seen the movie before, but I have not read the book. And there's so many things going on here. It's called The Girl on the Train. It's murder mystery. Just all these murder mysteries. The next two are murder mysteries too. So we have like five murder mysteries and one fantasy novel. So... Girl on Train is um, about a girl who watches a couple for a while, um, and then she gets wrapped up into this whole story. She's kind of a stalker. Um, we'll see how this one goes. I don't know. I got it at Goodwill. So, Alright, the next one is The Burn Palace. I actually know absolutely nothing about it. Uh, by... Stephen Dob Dobbins, Dobbins. Um, there's a quote from Stephen King on the back. That's why I picked it up. Um, actually, this is a horror novel, I think. I think this is a horror novel. Horror, I think. Suspense novel, yeah. Thriller, okay. Yeah, I think this is a horror novel. I don't know what it's about. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing. Um... Stephen King, he said he liked it, um, after five pages, so, I'll read five pages. <laughs> if Stephen King can get into it in the first five pages, probably is good. Anyways, I'll read the first chapter. Alright, so the next one I've read some of, uh, it's a murder mystery, and it's called The Cradle Will Fall. Um, a woman goes to the hospital, and she looks out the window and she sees um, a guy um, putting something in the trunk of her car um, so 
she's now a witness to um, a murder, kind of. She didn't see actually see the murder. She just saw him carrying the body. Now she's a witness, and now she's got to um, save, like, fight to save her life. So that's what this one's about. It's by Mary Higgins Clark. All right, so that's my six books. We have four murder mysteries, a thriller, and a fantasy novel. So I will check in with you later. Bye guys. So I just read the first chapter, actually the first chapter in the prologue of Aragon. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I, I don't know. Well, it was just wasn't the right time to re be reading this. It was okay. Like the first chapter is the prologue. It's kind of intriguing. Um. So, I'm going to keep this as a maybe. It's got one more chance. If I can't finish this book, but second chance, we're done. <laughs> we're breaking up. <laughs> so, alright. The next book I'm going to read is going to be Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Um, that had eight pages. So, I read the first eight pages. Um, this one has two. Oh, there's some interesting stuff going on. Oh, it's a longer chapter. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, whoa. Was this even a chapter? I guess it's a chapter. Is this prologue? What is this? It's like 14 pages, so I'm going to read the first, like, part, even though, like, it seems like there's chapter one doesn't start until after 14 pages, so I'm guessing this is a prologue, so I think the prologue might, um, do good, so we'll start there. Alright, so I read the first chapter of Truly Devious, um, I personally thought that it was going really quickly and things were happening and we were getting to the place really quickly the school that it set in and I I quickly realized that the girl um that we follow in the first chapter is not going to be the main character of the entire book um so I think it's just setting up for what's to come and I'm actually intrigued I want to I'm intrigued by the school mainly and then there's this like poem here in the beginning that um intrigues me as well and I like a good murder mystery so yeah I think I'd read that I'm gonna read that um it's a library book so um all right so the next book I got, it's called The Trap, and it's by Melanie Rabe, Rabe, I still haven't figured out how to say it. Um, so this book has, the first chapter is two pages. <laughs> um, so we'll read the first chapter. All right, I'll be back in a second. Good. Okay, so The Trap. Um. It's about a girl who is a writer, um, and she's kind of, and she's ill, she doesn't leave the house, um, that's what I'm getting from the first chapter. I don't know. I don't know about this. Um, the sentence at the top here that says, I know who killed my sister, I wrote this book for him intrigues me um the fact that she's a writer also intrigues me um because i want to be a writer myself and i think that this possibly could be really interesting um so this is a maybe this is a maybe maybe do like a to read the second chapter tag does anyone actually do that like 
like there's babies and then like so you're like okay I'm gonna read the second chapter and then we'll decide from the second chapter and we'll move on with our lives so that's a maybe all right so the next book is going to be the girl on the train by Paula Hawkins the first chapter is 4k hey this, this book's for me, apparently. For Kate. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Is this... Oh, it's in different pers perspectives. Oh, my gosh. Does this have an end? Yes, it does. Okay. So, the first chapter is looking to be... 16 pages yeah or 15 pages so I'll read this and I'll be right back all right so the problem with this book is that I've seen the movie <laughs> and I know where this is going I know exactly where this is going how it turns up um, so <laughs> I like the slow it's slow and unlike the movie, of course, you know, maybe it's got like an hour, two hour time frame to get everything in it. And so this is really slow and I kind of like it because it kind of fits in with the train being really slow moving and it, it just fits with how time is moving in the book. And um, she people watches, which is something I do. Um, I don't... I don't create stories for them like she does, but I would be bored as well if I had nothing else to do on a slow moving train. Um, I feel bad for her. I know what's coming. I know how everything turns up, so I really feel bad for the girl, um, Rachel, in the book. That's the perspective um, that's in the first chapter. I think it switches from Rachel... Rachel to Megan, maybe? And Anna. Rachel, Megan, and Anna. Um, three different perspectives. So, I like it. Um, so, so far. So far, so good. So, keeping it. Alright, so next one I got, I know absolutely nothing about. It's a horror book. And it's called The Burn Palace by... Uh, Stephen Dobbins and on the back there is a blurb from Stephen King saying that he was really interested in it after five pages so uh, let's see how long is the first chapter there's one okay this is a really long chapter I have a feeling this is going to be a really long chapter. Yep. Alright, so the first chapter is 20 pages, or 19 pages. So I'll get a good feel for this book after reading that. So, yeah, I'll check back in a bit. Alright, so I finished the first chapter of Burn Palace. Um... I I didn't like it as much. Um, I think the most interesting thing about it is going to be that it's going to be set in a small town. And I understand small towns because I live in one. So it's going to be a lot of like drama, small town drama. And I love small town drama. Um, it's a lot of he said, she said. Um, so that's... The only thing that's really intriguing me, um, I don't see the horror aspect of it. Um, it seems more like a mystery to me because a baby got replaced with a snake in a nursery, um, in a hospital. And that's pretty much all that's really happened. And a lot of it is just like talking about the town and, um just like what's going on and a lot of it mentions sex quite a bit so 
I don't know if I really like this. I think I'm going to unhaul this. I got this for free. So, anyways, I think I'm going to unhaul it. If anybody thinks this is good, um, tell me down in the comments. But otherwise, I think I'm going to unhaul it. It doesn't appeal me. Okay, so my last book, we're almost there, guys, is uh, The Cradle Will Fall by Mary Higgins Clark, and it's a mystery. Um, this is another book I got for free. This, this, and Cold Hard Canyon, which is right there, and North Hanger Habby by Jane Austen is all, um, free, I got free, thanks to our free bookshelf in the English department. So, yeah, this is a murder mystery. And that is all I know about this book. So, and there's a picture of the author on the back um, by Mary Higgins Clark. All right, let's see how many pages is this is going to be. Hopefully shorter than that one because that was 19 pages. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, so it looks like four and a half pages. I don't like how that, oh, I don't like how that looks. Okay, anyways, I'll be back. Alright, so the last book, finally done. And, um, I'm not impressed. Uh, not impressed at all by this book. There's just nothing interesting. It's like she gets in a car wreck. And, I mean, like, there's just nothing right now. The, the first chapter is just not a good, it's just not pulling me in. Not, just, like, knowing that she sees, like, a murder. And that's kind of the interesting part. Um, I, <laughs> yeah, this is a no. This is kind of sad because every book that I've picked up for from my place, my English department, I haven't been able to really like get into these books. Not all that interesting. Cold Heart Canyon. It's uh, <laughs> we're not gonna even talk about that. It's a lot. And then North Hanger Abbey. I could not. I couldn't do it. I started reading, couldn't do it. Sorry. Even with notes from one of my professors, couldn't do it. Alright, so, after putting, after reading three books, I'm really interested in Aragon by Christopher Paolini, Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, and The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. And then my nose. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to actually book haul on Hollies. I got, I just like keeping books. I'm a hoarder. I don't really need to unhaul right now. Um, the Cradle Will Fall by Mary Higgins Clark. And um, The Burn Palace by Stephen Dobbins. And then maybe is The Trap by Melanie Rabe. So, I was really thinking Aragon was going to be a no because I couldn't finish it the last time I tried to get through it. But, one day, one day Aragon, we're going to go, we're going to go face to face, okay? And I'm going to finish that thing one day. Alright, well, that has been my try chapter challenge. Hope you enjoyed let me know down in the, <laughs> let me know down in the comments what you're currently reading if it's any good if you know anything about these books tell me what you thought of them especially the ones i said no on and definitely the maybe um and if the ones i said yes to are actually worth it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bye